Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Razer phone. Now I've been getting a lot of requests to check this one out, so let's check it out. Now on a side note, I haven't watched any videos on this phone, so we're gonna go through this together, but there's three questions that I wanna answer for myself and for y'all too. Number one, now this phone has the 120 hertz refresh rate on the display. Is that a gimmick or is this gonna be smoother than the Google Pixel 2 XL, which is the smoothest Android phone that I got right now? Let's find out. Number two, the dual speakers. Are these the best sounding speakers on the market? Let's put them to the test. And number three, the design. Now I'm not a real fan of that brick look, but let's see if it's gonna grow on me. Now, before we get started, let me spec y'all to death real quick, starting with the most important spec, the price. Now, if you buy this from Razor.com like I did, you're going to pay 700 bucks plus tax, 762 bucks. So that's official flagship pricing. Don't forget about the tax, 762. Now, speaking of 700 bucks, y'all remember the essential trash? I bought that phone for 700 bucks plus tax. Two weeks later, it dropped down to 500 bucks. Another week later, 400 bucks. Now, if you go to Best Buy, you could get that shit free with a toaster. So let's hope this is not the same experience. Now this phone only comes in one color, black. Now this is a GSM phone, so that means if you got AT&T or T-Mobile, you're good to go. If you got Sprint or Verizon, you asked out. Now for the display, you got a 5.7 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1440 by 2560. Now that's 515 for the PPI patrol. All right, that's a lot of PPIs. Now you get the 16 by nine aspect ratio, so that means you got a 70%, uh, 72% screen to body format. Now you got Gorilla Glass 3 on the front, and like I said, you got the 120 hertz refresh rate, which is amazing. Now for the processor, you got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 with the Adreno 540 GPU, top of the line specs. Now the phone is running Android 7.1.1 Nugget, shout out to the Nugget boys. You get 64 gigs of storage with eight gigs of RAM. All right, that's a lot of RAM, and you got a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to 256 gigs. Now, for the cameras on the rear, you got a dual setup. So you got two 12 megapixel cameras. One is f1.8, the other one is f2.6. Now, I haven't heard anything about optical image stabilization, but we're going to put that to the test also. And on the front, you got an 8 megapixel camera. That's f2.0 with the wide angle lens. Now, for the battery, check this out. You got a 4,000 milliamp battery that features fast charge. Let that sink in. Now you got dual stereo speakers on the front that feature Dolby Atmos. And like I said, we're gonna put those to the test. You got a fingerprint sensor built into the power button. I don't know how much I'm gonna like that, but let's find out. All right, so here we go. Shout out to White Shoes back in the building. The Razer phone. Now you see you got your little Razer insignia on the front. Typical black box. I like that. If you ever bought anything from Razer, you know what to expect. I've got the Batman knife on deck. Here we go. Rah, look out Zerts. Almost cut Xerxes' toenails off. All right, here we go. Little plastic struggles. Okay. Razor, okay. If you know about Razor Gaming, you know that logo already. Here we go. Okay. Watch, uh, watch, listen, and play. Nice little letter right here. We'll pluck that, file it to the side. Here's your device. Now, it's a lot lighter than I thought. Rah. A little more plastic struggles. Okay, here we go. A lot lighter than I thought, but let's see what it is. Let's see what else you get in here. Now, this is nice. It's kind of like a book, all right? <laughs> Some accessories. Let's see what this is. Okay, usual books and shit. All right, check this out. You get some Razor stickers. All right, troll your friends with those. Well, let's see, usual books and shit. A little card right here. Is this a sim ejection tool? Might be. That looks nice though. A little sim ejection tool with Razor branding on it. Attention to detail. Feeling that. Okay, another little box right here. What could this be? Okay. <laughs> now, I forgot to mention that in the specology, but there's no headphone jack, so you get your headphone dongle. Let me file that into my pocket so Xerxes don't get me. Another box right here. Let's see what this is. Okay, charging brick. Now look at the detail on this. This is what I'm talking about. Shout out to Razor. I respect that. Let's see what this is. Now could this be? Nope, I thought it was headphones, but 
It's your USB type C charging cable. Now check this out, this is braided. All right, now I thought OnePlus had the best USB cables that came in the box. This one looks even better because it's all black and it's braided. Zerk's trying to get in the box. Hold up, Zerk, so you can have the box in a second. All right, so that's pretty much it. Beautiful presentation. Now here's the device. Now this is my first time holding it in hand and I gotta tell y'all, it feels lightweight. This is a unibody design, all metal. Matte finish, no fingerprints. There's your Razer Insignia, your two cameras, your flash. There's your SIM tray. Here's your power button with the built-in fingerprint sensor. Now it does have a little click on that. Let's I hold it down and see how this uh, boot up animation looks. On the front, there's your, two, uh, there's your eight megapixel camera. Now here's your volume up and down. Little clickers, little clicks on these. Not bad. They should have made them up a little, a little higher up, but it is what it is. All right, so let's see this animation real quick. And it, <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, Razor. Beautiful. On the bottom, here's your mic, USB type C. On the top, another mic, and that's pretty much it. <sighs> Definitely feeling the weight on this. Now, I didn't think I was gonna like this big square design, but it kind of feels like a man phone, <laughs> right? Yeah, I know I'm an alpha male. Kind of feels like a man phone. I'm feeling that already. All right, so let me pause the video. I'll put my information in real quick, then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes, and I gotta be 100% honest with y'all. My mind has officially changed. I am feeling this phone. Now, seriously, I didn't think I was gonna like this phone as much as I do now, because there's a few things that I could gripe about. No wireless charge, it's not water resistant, no always on display, it's still running Android 7 Nugget. For 700 bucks, you only get 64 gigs of storage on a gaming phone. A few things that I don't like, but so far after using the phone for a few minutes, the things that I do like are outweighing my dislikes. And let's talk about those first. Number one, the build quality. Now, I didn't think I was gonna like this square design, but after playing with it and using it for a few minutes, this could definitely be my daily driver. It's tall and it's wide. Now, I'm not a big fan of the 18 by nine aspect ratios with the bezel-less phones. Yeah, they look nice, but when I'm getting into a text message war, I always use my iPhone 8 Plus because it's wide, it's more luxurious. I got big fat fingers. Ladies, you know the procedures. But this phone right here, it feels so good in the hands. Ladies, again, you got the matte feel on this. This is definitely a phone that you're not gonna wanna use a case. Now I'm digging a little Razer Insignia on the back, no branding. All right, so you drop this on the table, anybody that's not into gaming, they're not gonna know what this is. It kinda looks retro, but I'm telling you, pictures do not do this justice. You're gonna have to hold this in your hand. Now let's talk about the button placement. That's another thing I wasn't feeling at first. You know, I said the volume button's a little too low. But after actually using the phone, and this is what I'm saying, a lot of times you gotta use stuff for yourself. After using it, you find that your fingers are right where they're supposed to be at, right on top of the buttons. Now, if you're squeezing your phones, it's not gonna activate anything, but the buttons, now the buttons are a little bit on the cheesy side, but the placement, I'm definitely feeling that. So when I'm holding a phone like this, I can easily get to my volume up and down. Now for the power button. Now, that's one thing I will say, the power button, I wish it was would've been up a little bit higher, but it works, check this out. That's it. Now I got my fingerprint set up on this, so you press it in, it's automatically gonna press the power button and unlock the phone at the same time. Look how fast that is. And you get that cool little sound. <laughs> I'm digging that. Now I'm gonna do it without a, uh, without a fingerprint button. That's it. Just like that, super smooth, very re uh, responsive. I'm feeling that so far. Now, let's try to answer those three questions that I had at the beginning of the video. Number one, is this phone smoother than the Google Pixel XL, the 2 XL? And right now, I, I, I can't say yes so far, but so far this is silky smooth. Now, you get, let's see how many apps I got downloading in the background, uh, blah, blah, blah. I got a bunch. I got a bunch of apps downloading in the background. Six, uh, 60 out of 140. I can't even see that. 60 out of 140. So I'm still downloading apps in the background, but it's just super smooth. I haven't seen any lag yet. And look how fast these apps open up and close back up. Whew. Now, not now. 
Hold up. We're going to have to talk about that in a second, too. That's another thing. All right, so is this uh, more smooth than the uh, Google 2 Pixel? Uh, <laughs> Google 2. The Google 2 XL. Pixel 2 XL. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We're going to have to find out. But if you go to settings, all right, let's go to display. Now, I was playing with this for a second. You'll notice that the refresh rate fresh out of the box is going to be on 90. Now, I put it on 120. Now, according to the research that I did, it's not always going to be on 120. It's going to refresh depending on if you're playing games or if you're just doing stock functions. Then it might drop back down to 90 to save battery. But so far, whoo, super smooth. Now, I got to let everything load up. I got to take it outside and go beast mode with it. But so far, Pixel, all right, Google, y'all in trouble right now. Y'all in a lot of trouble. And there's no blue tint on this. Y'all in a lot of trouble. All right, let's keep it moving. Second question, the speakers. <laughs> Now, this is where I got to keep it real with y'all, man. This, and this is why y'all tune into my channel. Y'all know there's no fanboyism allowed. I got to keep it real with y'all. I'm definitely feeling the speakers. There's a lot of functions to it. They got the Dolby Atmos, and I'll show you how to play with that. But in the side-by-side -side comparison with my favorite speakers on the market right now, the iPhone 10 and 8 Plus, whichever one you got, same speakers, the iPhone just sounds better. Now, I'm going to show you for yourself. Let's pull up Bike Life, my usual test video. Now, don't get me wrong. These speakers are no slouch. Dual speakers. Nice and loud. Let's make sure we got max volume. Nice and loud. Oh, look at that display. Beautiful. But check this out. So now when you got your sound playing, you go to music. You can change your different. You got movie, music, game, voice. Now, here's why I got to pause the video. Honestly, after I went through all of the cycles, you could barely hear any difference. So some of this stuff is marketing and gimmicky ploys, you know, whatever, you know, when you had Dolby Atmos on the phone, you're not going to experience a real Dolby Atmos sound on a phone. Now, it does it does kind of give it a little 3D effect because sometimes the music is louder on the top than on the bottom. So when you're holding the phone like this away from you, you will kind of hear a little. It's hard to explain. You'll hear a little 3D sound. But look, watch this. Now, I'm going to play my iPhone. No Dolby, no nothing. Same song. Watch the difference. Now, I'm going to put them right next to the mic. Here's the iPhone. Chill out, Zerts. This is the iPhone 10. Now, here's the Razer phone. Now, see, now, this is what I'm talking about. This is... The iPhone definitely has more bass. It has more of a rich and thick sound to it. Now, you would think for two big giant speakers on the front, this is going to be blasting, you know, uh, similar to your old M8. Remember your HCC M8 with the crazy loud speakers? The speakers, they definitely not slouches on these, but so far I can't give it the title of best speakers. I have to test it next to the HTC U11, but so far it sounds like the iPhone speakers still got the best without even having these big, big giant speaker grills. Hold on a second, Zerks, don't make me file you to the side. Don't, now you gotta flop. Chill, Zerks. Anyway, so you got two big giant speakers on the front. They not, they not as loud as they could be. Now I will go to the settings. Matter of fact, let's do that right now. Let's, let's breeze through all of the settings. Now I was playing with it behind the scenes and I made sure everything was on max. But let's see what you got. All right, so you got your standard settings. Let's go to more. You do got NFC. You got Android Beam. You got tap and pay. Everything looks good. Let's go to more real quick. Oh, matter of fact, we just went to... <laughs> let's go to display. All right, for the display settings, you got your brightness level, adaptive brightness. I turned that off. This display is on max, max brightness right now. And that's another thing I got to complain about. IPS displays, they not the worst. But if you got this phone and you put it next to a Samsung Galaxy or you put it next to a phone that has an OLED display, it's going to kill it. All right. This, this just looks a little bit more washed out and it doesn't look as bright and vibrant. But anyway, now here's your refresh rate. You can sit, uh, sw uh, switch that at your leisure. Let's see anything else. Nightlight ambient display. All right. So ambient display, similar to how Moto does it on their phones. If you got the phone on the table and you get a message. It'll just light up the screen. Not full brightness, but you'll get an ambient notification. So we'll leave that on. Double tap to wake. Let's make sure that works. I got I to gotta shield you, Zerks. Double tap to wake. <laughs> that, that does work. All right. Zerks is in rare form tonight. Zerks. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a cat life. Let's see what else you got here. All right. So you got your font size, display size. Let's go to display resolution. We got it on max 1440. 
uh, rotation and cast. All right, that's it. Now let's go to our sound. All right, so you got your Dolby settings. Now, like I said, I was playing with this earlier, a full list of Dolby settings. You got your music, your um, um, movie, game, voice, and you got customs. Now, customs, you can play with the uh, EQs. I forgot how to do that. I was just doing that, but we'll do that later. We'll do that later. This is just my initial impressions. Zerks, I'm about to file you. All right. This is just my initial impressions. Hold on a second. I got to file Xerxes to the side. Zerks. <laughs> Damn, bro. Like I said, this is just my initial impressions. So I'll play with all of the Dolby settings. We'll get everything to max. Then when I do the full review, we'll put it side by side. But if you just pip pull this right out of the box, you're going to like the iPhone speakers a little bit better. Let's keep it moving. You got some other stuff. Let's see if we got any gestures on deck. All right. So you got jump to camera, double tap the home button. All right. So this is going to be your world star button. Double tap. Oh, look how fast that was. Let's try it again. Now, is it taking a picture? Let me see. Because I'm, I'm double tapping. Hold on a second, y'all. All right, now check this out. When you double tap your world star button, you're going to get that click sound. I thought I was taking pictures, but that's just the uh, unlock sound. All right, point and shoot status. Let's open up home. Let's go to the camera real quick. While, while we're here, let's talk about the camera. Now, the camera, it looks pretty much basic. I don't see any uh, pro settings. Let's go to settings and see. All right, so you got your volume key, shutter sound. Matter of fact, we got to turn that shutter sound off for our clandestine gym photos. Photo size, 12.2. That's the max for the uh, rear. On the front, 8 is the max. Video, you got 4K resolution. I right, so we'll leave that locked in. Front camera, 1080p max. And that's pretty much it. So I don't see any pro mode on this. You got a timer, grid, HDR, and your flash. And there's your video. You hit the other button, you go to selfie. All right, so no pro mode on the camera. We'll test the uh, image stabilization. I, I didn't see anything about that, but maybe it has electronic image stabilization, or maybe it's just that good that you don't need it, or maybe it's just a gaming phone. Who cares about the pictures? I care. But there's no fancy uh, facial animations, no kind of uh, <laughs> no uh, Instagram filters or nothing. This is basically just a point and shoot camera. Let's take a quick picture. Got the most beautiful phone on the market, Huawei Mate 10. Point and shoot. Ah, uh, no shutter sound. Let's see, y'all. Uh, let's see how that looks. Let's go back. All right, so we zoom in. So far, so good. We'll put the camera to the test. I'm digging it so far. But basically. Just a stock Android experience. Let's see. Um, Not too much bloat on this. We'll go through it. But so far, look how smooth that is. Look at that. I just got to get used to this. This is crazy, though. Now, on a side note, speaking of Huawei Mate 10, well, I'll, I'll, I'm doing a full update video this week, so I'll let y'all know about this. I don't want to do a full review on this because this is a review unit, and I'm having some issues with it. I'm loving this phone. I just got to get a retail one to make sure that that's not a stock uh, issue that I'm having. Maybe it's just a review unit issue. So I don't want to bash without having an official tissue version Anyway, whoo so not too much gimmicks on this. This is basically just a smooth Android beast a right? lot cheaper than the pixel the speakers on this sound great. The display looks beautiful We'll take this I right, note. I just wanted to make sure no screen rotation. It is what it is And this is a gaming phone. So let's play a game real quick and see how that looks All right, so here we go now, I'm not heavy into phone gaming, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're using the phone as the wheel. All right. How do we hit, how do we hit the gas on this bitch? Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Right, I'm look like, I look like I'm in a McLaren. All right, no doubt. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so far though, it's nice and smooth. Yo, these speakers are loud. They, they nice and loud. Look at that. Driving like I'll be driving in real life. All right, so far though, so good. <laughs> now this is my first time playing this game, but whatever this is, asphalt or whatever, it was stock. It was already on the phone, but I'm gonna have to download this or or have to keep playing this because I'm definitely feeling this. Anyway. So y'all see for yourself, no lag, that 120 hertz refresh rate kicking in, Woo. first place as usual.
<laughs> I know, I'm trash. Anyway, first impressions, like I said, for 700 bucks. Now, this is a phone right here. All right, that essential trash. All right, y'all remember the essential trash? I paid the same exact, that same exact price that I paid for this. I paid for the essential trash, and I didn't have half the fun that I'm already having with this phone. You're gonna love how this phone feels in your hand. This look is definitely gonna grow on me. I'm rocking this with no case. Now, what did I just do? I don't even know what that. I, oh, okay, I thought I changed. I thought I changed my settings. Let's see. Can we do that? I will right, we'll play with that in a minute. Let's see. We got a uh, raise the preferences. Okay, share information. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Android 7.1 Nugget. Now, on the side note, let's see if my SIM card is actually working on this one. I dropped the T-Mobile in here. So let's see if we got any T-Mobile activity. Oh, we got 4G LTE. T-Mobile on deck. No call in the carrier, no nothing. I just took it out of one phone, slapped it in the next. I'm in business. Now, like I said, I can't really judge the lag on this. We can't, we can't get the full speed test because we're downloading too many apps. And it is, what time? Four o'clock in the morning. So I can't be doing this all night. But anyway, I know. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. And let me know what y'all want me to cover during the full video. I'm definitely doing a full review on this one, though. We're going to rip it apart. We'll test out the camera. We'll do a real uh, a real speaker test. We'll test out this big giant 4,000 milliamp battery. And we'll see if the 120 hertz is actually smoother than the Pixel 2. All right, Zerx is back. That's my cue to get out of here. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. All right, y'all, I had to beam back down real quick because I want to take a quick minute and say thank you to everybody that subscribed to my channel. Y'all see we just cracked over 700,000 subscribers. Now, y'all know I don't really care about the numbers and all of that, but it does mean a lot to me because a lot of y'all been rocking with me for years, almost a decade we've been in the game. And again, I just want to say thank you. We're going to keep everything the same. We still low budget. We still a bunch of savages. We still going to be having fun and we still going to get it popping. So thanks to everybody that subscribed. Let's keep it moving. All right, let me get back up out of here. Scotty, here, Scotty beam me back up. I'll do what I can, sir. Energize.